Hello, good people of YouTube. Mountbatten here. And today we've got some good news. It was released a couple days ago. I do apologize. It took me a while to get this up. Uh, for those of you that don't know, we're getting announced via the development blog Facebook page that in update 9.4, there are no longer going to be premium consumables. Which means that the consumables that we have now, the standard ones, are going to become the premium variant. So you're going to have one more charge, it's going to cool down in the same amount of time that the premium consumables cool down. And so just, just for example, let's say the standard heal on a tier 8 battleship cools down in a minute and 20 seconds and the premium variant cools down in 60 seconds, it's all going to be 60 seconds. And I don't know if that's the actual time off the top of my head, but just for an example, we're going. It, it's going to be premium consumables, but they're going to become the standard consumable now. And that's a great thing. Um, if you have any in your inventory, they're going to be converted to credits. I know I have a lot of premium radars because I don't play a lot of radar ships because those are mostly cruisers and I've played mostly battleships, even though I am branching off into cruisers now. Um, all that's going to be converted, converted into credits. If you have any um, uh, uh, consumable containers, of, for some reason I forgot what they were called, any consumable containers in your inventory, those are going to be converted into 160,000 credits apiece. And any consumables that may be in any containers that you have, they're going to be converted to signal flags. So, that's good. This is a good move. Now, there is a side of me which is kind of suspicious around this because they tried to do this a while ago. I think when the research bureau first came out, they were supposed to do away with premium consumables. And I don't know why it got delayed for so long. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to remember, this was after the CV rework, so they had already you know, did their crazy amount of hot fixes with that. And then, I yeah, I think this was supposed to happen when the research bureau came out and there was backlash, backlash over that. So I'm not sure why it's taken them till now to do it. And it's also, you know, they say this is to alleviate the burden of having to buy premium consumables uh, with credits after the battle. And yeah, that's a good thing. Because a lot of people who play this game, you know, there's a good amount of people that play this game purely as a free-to-play game. And, you know, Wargaming doesn't want to try, to try to make money off of it, so... And we can see that with the amount of events and... Well, actually, they haven't been re releasing that many premiums um, like they were back in 2019. In 2019, it seemed like we were getting, like, two to three premium ships a month, and now we're getting, like, one, maybe two, if that. And so it seems kind of strange that they would do this, but hey, if it if they truly are just getting rid of premium consumables to now where everyone gets them, that's a huge plus. And if that's all you're doing war gaming, that's two thumbs up for me. That's awesome. That's a good move um, amid their interesting decisions as as of lately. But it's a good thing. I think it's fantastic. Now again, if something else comes along and they replace it with, let's say, premium ammunition, like in World of Tanks, then I'm going to take all this back quite quickly, because that's stupid. Um, and I know there was some talk that, oh, SAP's going to be premium ammo, and thankfully that was just the, um, that's going to be the specialness of the Italian ships, and battleships as well, it seems like they are also going to be have SAP, uh, going, going to be have SAP, <laughs> they're going to have SAP as well, which would be very interesting seeing as how powerful sap is on the Venezia and if you haven't played against Venezia yet even if you're in uh, the most armored battleship they could that thing will still chunk your superstructure for like 20k and your and your uh, sidearm for 20k too if it pins it freaking hurts to play against that and having battleships with sap that will be very interesting but that's another conversation for another day so yeah S sketchy um Skeptical optimism for me on this one because it is a good move for wargaming and it's going to help out a lot of players. I mean, people like me who play this game so much, you know, I don't even think about using premium consumables because I have so many credits uh, stacked up for them. But this is going to help out a lot of the free to play players. And I know, like, when I was grinding through the um, American Battleship line the first time and I got to the North Carolina, that was when I really had to 
think about buying premium time because you know once you get to tier 8 it's a really long grind and when you're at tier 8 you can get up to, to tier 10 and tier 10 really friggin sucks uh, being up to, to tier to tier 10 in a, in a stock tier 8 ship so you know I had to stop using premium consumables but you know premium consumables were probably the only actual pay to win aspect in this game because they, they do give you a straight up advantage over the standard one because they cool down quicker and you get one more charge of them. They do they perform exactly the same as standard consumables. It's just that you get one more and you get the cool the cooldown you know is quicker. So that's gone. I think that's good. And um, the other interesting thing from the announcements from yesterday is that in 9.4 they're adding a Nordic camouflage for a gear, which is the tier 9 German super cruiser. And that means one of two things. A gear is set to release in 9.4, because why would you add a permanent camouflage for a ship that's not in the game yet? Or it's going to come out between sometime between now and 9.4. So, mm, maybe it's coming out soon. It may come out with the Soviet cruisers, which they are also coming out in 9.4. So, well, the early access to them coming is coming out in 9.4, which is, I think, probably in a couple of days from me recording this so we may get our gear we may get um siegfried i don't think we're gonna get siegfried because i haven't heard anything about that ship yet but yeah maybe getting a gear finally which we've been waiting for um a gear odin um siegfried california all these ships which have just been stuck in development hair hell for so long they're I'm thinking they may be finally seeing the light of day soon. I'm just have a feeling because they've been sitting on those ships for so long now. Um, other things to take away from the announcements, um, they're uh, the uh, others announcement, which is just very long, just a bunch of little tedious changes. Uh, the other big thing is that um, ranked is going to be tier seven in seven v seven. So tier seven ranked's going to be interesting because tier seven ships are. They, for a while there, were pretty well balanced in terms of matchmaking, but, um, you know, since the quarantines took over, you know, what would even is team balance anymore? Uh, but Tier 7, I think that's actually a pretty good place for ranked, because you don't have a lot of crazy ships like, you know, like the Conqueror with its zombie hill, you don't have anything like that at Tier 7. Um, and the Soviet ships, they're not too crazy and I mean, I'm talking referring to the Soviet battleships they're not too crazy at tier 7 with the Sinyalp I mean it's got 16 inch guns at tier 7 nine of them but the turrets do rotate quite slow the ship is tough from the bow on but it's pretty easy to citadel it's not that maneuverable I do love the way the thing looks um by the way if you haven't heard me say that again it's, it's just like the steampunk awesome looking battleship and it um, has decent secondaries for a battleship, actually. It's the only Soviet ship that I said you could maybe build into the secondaries on. But it's pretty well balanced. It's strong, don't get me wrong, but it's pretty easily pinnable. It's not like the Kremlin where you have to catch the flat broadside of it. To Citadel, you can shoot it in its cheek um, from f a fairly angled... Um, point and it will still get citadeled and it citadels much easier to hit than the Kremlin's. The Kremlin has like this little strip that goes along its length. The Sinyalp strip is a bit wider and you can easily get at it there. So probably a lot of Sinyalps, uh, Belfast and Kruzals are probably going to come out of the woodworks. People are going to dust off those ships. Uh, Belfast, not as strong as it used to be with its HE spam. Uh, compared because we got so many more of those types of ships in the game now, but still smoke and radar That ships gonna be coming out a lot. Uh, they didn't say if it, there were any carriers or not um, it, Well, there are no tier 7 carriers. What am I even thinking about? <laughs> My bad. God, I'm still living in a pre CV uh, Rework world that there's no tier 7 carriers. So, yeah, no, no CVs. So that, that'll be nice So yeah a lot of information in this update. Um, again, a lot of just HDR. They're, you know, they're overhauling some maps. They're getting rid of the island at A7 on Atlantic, so you can't hide behind that anymore. Um, but, yeah. So, overall, interesting update. Uh, 
we'll get our hands on the Soviet heavy cruisers. Uh, we won't we won't get the we won't get the Petro just yet, so we can't really see if that thing is as overpowered as it's as we've been seeing from the CCs. Which keep in mind when you're watching the Petro just dunk on ships, you're watching people who play this game quite a lot. I'm not saying the thing is not overpowered. I'm just saying that it is more than likely very strong, just like the Kremlin. But you are watching people who play this game like for a full-time job and are much more skilled than I am. Um, just dunking on these people. They know where to aim. They know how to aim. They play this game way longer than I do every day. But from what I've seen too, the Petra does look like it is pretty overpowered. I'm just saying don't go nuts yet because you know how Wargaming is. They may change the thing the day before they release it. But I have a feeling it is going to be overpowered when it comes out. And I'll let you guys know when that happens. So anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. We are on our way to 10,000 subscribers. We just passed 9,200. I cannot thank you guys enough for that. You guys have been doing an awesome job with all the new subscriptions lately. And I continue to thank you. And I'm pretty sure we're going to hit 10,000 before this month is over with. You guys are awesome. I know you guys will get it done. So you guys will be having a great day. And I hope to see all you guys in the next one.